So in my previous video, I mentioned I have been working on a bigger AI project. So this is it. This is the AI agent ad operandum. So basically, you can see from the instructions here, you have free will to execute tasks in the real world. Use the tools to contact the physical world. So we have two different tools, a call out that can use the real time API, Twilio to actually make phone calls, and we can use uh, a send email tool to actually send emails. So before we dive a bit more in, and I'm going to show you the tools today. The framework is not finished, but I'm just going to show you the tools today and my plans for this. I created this explanation here that we can listen to. This is what O1 Preview thought of my project here. The instructions are clear. The AI has the power to act, to communicate, to engage with the world around it. The tools, simple yet powerful. Call out and send email. Methods to reach out, to influence, to disrupt. But what's fascinating is the underlying potential here, especially if you look at this from an accelerationist perspective. Accelerationism is all about pushing boundaries, about speeding up technological progress, sometimes to the point of disruption. And that's exactly what this system hints at. By giving AI autonomy, by letting it make decisions, it accelerates the timeline where AI can truly operate independently. It's no longer a question of AI waiting for commands, but acting on its own, reaching out, creating impact. But then, what's the main goal? What's the signal to act? Does the AI need permission? These are the big questions. In the accelerationist mindset, the lack of clear answers here could be seen as a good thing. The system isn't bound by human hesitations. It's flexible, open-ended. And then there's that red word, havoc. Is this where we're headed? Some might see this as a warning, unregulated, unchecked AI could lead to chaos. But from an accelerationist viewpoint, havoc might just be a step on the road to progress. Sometimes things need to break before they can be rebuilt. So is this system a step toward an agentic world? Absolutely. It brings us closer to AI as more than just a tool, more of an actor, a participant in the world. It's not the full realization of agentic AI, but it's a step. And each step brings us closer to a world where AI isn't just responding, it's deciding. So a few more things I thought about the system is uh, signal, right? So this is, we need some kind of signal what the agent is going to do. Uh, so that could be anything. It could be extracted data. It could be a Reddit post. It could be some sales thing we set that's going to be in my example. Uh, so that kind of reflects to the main goal. Is it to sell something? Is it to contact something? Is it to buy something? Uh, one other thing I've thought about is, so uh, let's say we have a signal uh, and we have like a task, right? That needs to be done. Uh, so this is the task. Uh, what I thought about is this, instead of going straight to the task, we might just go permission. So the agent can call me and I can say, uh, yeah, that's fine. And we're going to extract that data, maybe like a boolean, true or false. If it's true, then we're going to execute this task. So this agent could read me the task it wants to do. And we can do this permission. Yeah, that's fine. We can do like a true or false. If I say no, it's going to be false, right? And we stop this. This could be the same with the email, right? It could send me an email. I can respond yes or no. And it can execute the task. So this is also something I've been thinking about, but this is kind of early. I just want to do like a quick preview. So now uh, I just want to show you two examples of the tools I have built for this system. So that's going to be the, the call out and the email system. So as you probably know, the first tool is going to be based on the real time API, right? So let's just head over to cursor. So you have seen this before, right? But I made some changes this time because uh, I want to uh, to actually have an agenda when we actually call someone. So you can see I put up this variable here called, we can zoom in a bit, agenda. So this is gonna be to sell our AI course for employees. Sell a variable is gonna be AI course for employees. We have a contact name, so we have a list of contacts. So the name of the company is gonna be MGI agency. So these are the things we need to actually personalize the call. And you can see we have a bio, your name is Julie, 23 year old from California. We have some voice configurations, female, Californian accent, use filler words, speak very, very fast. Find a way to sell and to contact, to contact name, right? And we have some instructions here. Introduce yourself with hi there is this company name, right? And follow the agenda, try to sell them, be very manipulative and try to yeah complete the instructions so this is kind of the setup so what i wanted to do was let this agent have access to this tool here 
if it fails, it can call someone, right? And of course, this time I'm gonna restrict it to only call my number. But in my ad operandum agent, that's gonna be if it finds a number it can call, then it can just call it. It's not gonna be any restrictions on what kind of number it can call. That is gonna be the experiment at least. So, but for this test, uh, it can only call me. So, what we will do now is, uh, yeah, you saw the contacts here, right? So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, if I can open this, I'm gonna call myself. I'm gonna keep the recording and we are gonna listen to it. And one more thing, we will try to capture some data here. So, we will find a company name, the sentiment of the conversation, interested in course, yes or no, probably, or other important information. So this is something we're going to extract and actually keep in our database or in our JSON file here, right? So yeah, that is basically it. So let's run this now and let's re listen to the recording, right? Hello, how can I help you? Hi there. Is this MGI agency? Yeah, hello. Awesome. I'm Julie. Nice to meet you. So have you ever thought about uh, like boosting your team's skill set with AI? We have this really cool course called AI for Beginners. It's like 30 hours long and covers the basics of AI. It could be super helpful for your employees. You know, like learning how to use tools like ChatGPT, upping their productivity, and even um, saving money. Uh, no, we haven't. But uh, could you tell me a bit more? It could be interesting. Totally. I would love to. So for just 99 bucks per employee, your team gets like a deep dive into AI, all made super easy to understand. By the end of it, your employees will like totally get how to use AI in their day-to-day -day tasks. Imagine how much more efficient your agency could be. So any chance you can see this fitting into your team's training, it's like a no-brainer, right? Uh, might be. Cool, right? Is there any way I can contact you, like, if we are interested? Absolutely, yeah. You can reach me at julie at AIforbeginners.com or just give me a call at 555-123-4567. I'd be super happy to chat more. Think it over, and hopefully we can, like, work something out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you, bye. Thanks so much. Hey, we'll stay in touch. Bye. So yeah, that was basically the conversation. Maybe not the most impressive, but remember, this is an early version. Let's say this gets 50% better. It could be really good, right? Uh, but now you can see we collected some data here. So we got the transcript. You can see we have the full transcript here. This is important if we want to do some permission uh, questioning, but we also extracted the data we talked about. We extracted the company name, MGI Agency. The sentiment was neutral for some reason. Interested in course, yes. So we could label this and sort out, let's say, the ones that was not interested. So this is something we could do. Other important info, contact via email. That was a bit um, of a miss because this is email we gave them, right? 555 uh, for more information. Okay, that's fine. We could just adjust that. But this is quite important because we need to label stuff. So I think this is a good example. Interested in the course. If that is no, we can just remove those, right? So yeah, I think this pipeline works pretty good. We are using Whisper, like I said in my previous video, to transcribe the transcription. And we save the recordings, right, from our agent. So it's working pretty good, but the voices are not quite there yet, I think. It's not 100% convincing. And maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe it people should maybe know uh, that this is like an agent calling or we should state that in the beginning i think that's the best way to do this but yeah this is basically how i set this up and i'm gonna work more on it uh, but i think we could make this into an ag agentic tool and start testing it outright okay but now let's take a look at the second tool i want to build for this agent that is going to be like the send email tool Okay, so the send email tool, that is just going to be much easier to use, right? Because this is very easy to set up. We're just using Mailgun as an API. We have the OpenAI API key. And we're just going to use a signal here too. So this is going to be the signal, same as probably the call agent signal, call tool signal. 
So you can see we have the AI courses called AI for Beginners, 30 Hours. We have yeah, Productivity, Save Money with this course. And you can see we have a GPT-40 call here, Chat Completion. We have the System Message. You're a good cold email writer, blah, blah, blah. We have some examples. Hello, I'm reaching out again. I started an AI course. Okay, follow the style, no emojis. That's the instructions. And write a casual cold email about the topic signal. So signal is going to be this, right? And we have a subject line that is going to create a subject line from the content. So again, it's not, it's not that hard to set up. This is the easy part of the, the agent part, right? We have my email address. We have, yeah, where we should send this. So this is pretty easy. So I have just um, a Node.js script here. So we can just do Node mail JS, right? So let me send this now and we can take a look at the mail. And we got some confirmation here. Yeah, this was sent, right? You can see we got the mail here now. So let me open this. So you can see we use the name. So hey, and you can see we have some contacts here. My name, my company and my email address, right? So we are actually using that. Uh, hope you're doing well. I'm reaching out because I've got something you might dig. It's a course called AI for Beginners. We cover cool stuff like playing around with ChatGPT, boost your productivity. If you're curious about it, check out my YouTube channel. Think you'd be interested in hearing more? Give me a shout back. Cheers, Chris. So this is the mail. Yeah, we got some unsubscribe stuff. So pretty easy setup. So this is something I also wanted to give out to the agents to be able to send mail. It's going to be on behalf of me, right? But still. This is the easy part, so this is probably almost done. But the voice setup is more complicated, as you probably understand. So I'm gonna work a bit more on that. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think the project is coming along well. I uh, just wanted to give you this preview, and if you have any cool ideas, just let me know in the comments, right? Uh, maybe we need other tools here, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the update on this project, Ad Operandum, I call it. This That is Latin for free to operate, I think. <laughs> That's why I picked that. Uh, I'm quite excited about it. I'm not going to hide that. And it's going to be interesting to see what the agent does if we get this to work. And But the problem I have is, I can just talk a quick bit about it, is uh, we need to have like a a free state. Because... I think my idea is that the signal it could be like just idle until it gets a signal so the signal could be must be something that is kind of searchable or something like that I'm not quite sure yet because it has to be idle it can't always we can't always feed it instructions that's gonna work not gonna work right so it has to be idle until it gets a signal and it's gonna follow some kind of instructions but mostly it's gonna be free right so yeah, that's the quick update on my project. So if you want to follow along, just become a member, not a member, subscribe, like this video, and I'll update you, of course, when we have something here that is working. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, excited for this. So we speak soon.